All right, guys, you can tell I didn't do too much cleanup. So, on to the fourth one. All right, let's see if I can open this without giving away all my information. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to the paramilitary. Come on. Spot here, fellers. Anyone? All right, I'm opening it up, bro. All right. Hey, look at that. You guys all know what that is. If you've watched any of my videos, cool. Hold on, let me pick up my peanut mess. Peanuts are good for one thing, and that's it. <laughs> making a huge mess shoot and yeah I'm just gonna rip this open if I can I know somebody who will definitely appreciate watching this one so Mick if you happen to be watching hey guys if you haven't seen Mick the Pope. Mick the Pope does videos. Um, he's a he's a YouTuber and he makes videos and I love watching his videos. I don't know whether or not if you guys know him or have seen any of his videos, but you should definitely go subscribe to him. Um, I believe he started getting into more camera work, but he does everything in silence and it's like watching. It's almost like kind of watching, um, you know, in certain movies where there's just silence and appreciation of the scenery and the background and everything. Um, he he kind of does his his videos in like a photo type scene. And then he's got this really nice, he's got some classical music, he's got some jazz in the background. I don't know if many of you appreciate that, but... For me, I mean, it's something that I really, really appreciate. I love watching his videos. Um, he's been doing some videos on his uh, GECs lately, and uh, I really appreciate that, buddy. Um, but if you guys haven't seen his videos, he's got he's got other knives that um, that he shows. I can't remember all of them. Um, he's got one of the the old school, I believe it's Kershaw, the one with the titanium handles and green, or titanium like green handles, I believe it is. Uh, it was a very um, small production number, but you guys just kind of have to watch his videos. Uh, you may appreciate it, you may not, I don't know, but um, just just to let you guys know, uh, he's, one, he's one of the guys that has definitely talked me into... Um, getting severe into slip joints so that's kind of partially your fault Mick so uh, just so you know um, this one is well, I don't know why I just kind of showed that I'll let you guys appreciate the video this one came with an unexcelled hat pin so that's really cool because I'd like to throw that into my hat um, but this. this is a sleeve board with genuine stag handles. Now there is a difference between genuine stag and burnt stag guys. Um, genuine stag is something that is just naturally has natural texture to it whereas okay so this is natural stag this isn't burnt stag but there's just a different kind of beauty to it whereas I don't think that I have one available currently. Um, I'd have to knock some stuff over. But burnt stag is something where they just kind of torch it and heat it up and give it certain colors and everything else. Whereas with the natural, 
all the coloration and everything to it is just all natural which is something that I kind of appreciate a lot more definitely has a lot higher cost I mean a lot lot higher you're almost talking almost double um, what a normal knife would cost uh, if you were to get a normal sleeve board with burnt stag instead of natural stag so this one's number 38 got a really nice spay blade to it and it's stamped unexcelled genuine stag and then it also comes it is a um, it has one back spring for both blades it comes with a, this main blade which is the spay blade and since I always try to conserve my springs it also comes with a nice little pen blade so that's one of uh, Mick the Pope's um, most recent videos is he's showing basically all of his uh, his sleeve board knives and um, he also has a couple of uh, Barlow's that are in there GEC Barlow's but these are really really cool knives little tiny knives so you know as you can see it's smaller than one of my fingers which naturally I have big hands but you know my main pointer finger it's exactly the same size as that three inches closed spade blade I believe is I think a little over two and a half I think it's two and three eighths actually I believe it's two and three eighths inches 1095 carbon steel and I'm not quite sure on the pen blade. I don't think I've ever actually really paid attention to the actual size of the pen blade, but isn't he cute? The cute little tiny blade. But I bet you he could do some heavy duty use. Nice and sharp too. But these things are really cool. Something to be appreciated. It may not have, you know <coughs> it may not have its shield. Or anything. By the way, guys, I love this knife. Can't get over how heavy this thing is. I'm gonna have to do a scaling of this too. So hopefully, I'll remember to do that. Um, but these things are really cool. I had to get myself one just because. Uh, well, one, it was at the right price, but two is because of the fact that uh, Mick the Pope kind of got me going on it. Plus, I wanted a smaller knife. Um, just a smaller sized one and uh, also this one's pretty rare I mean they only made 50 of them I believe <coughs> in this style with the genuine stag but here's a little bit of the information if you guys want to read this I'll give you a few seconds here So there's that one and I'm out of boxes oh that's a bummer <laughs> even though I got plenty more coming I can't wait um, but anyways I'll just give a slight little finisher here on these these guys are so cool you guys haven't tried real stag and you have an interest in slip joints whatsoever um, my suggestion would be definitely try it genuine stag is the bomb if you guys have seen my video on uh, 2010 gun show or I can't remember uh, whatever it was where I picked up a lot of customs um, 
the stag that I have in my Mike Erie fixed blade that is by far uh, my favorite fixed blade out of all my fixed blades I don't have a lot anymore because I sold a lot of them but that thing is just gorgeous I mean if you guys could actually handle it you'd understand the appreciation for genuine stag um, but I'll also give you guys a last look at this guy and get my spider toes out of here there's my Winchester so hope you guys enjoyed watching sorry about the mess everything else oh yeah if you guys ever get a chance these bills cases I know they make them in variations of sizes but if you guys have something that you want to keep very nice uh, I have inspected this it's got nice fur lining good velcro and it's very well padded so just something to think about because uh, these guys you know something that's important to you you definitely want to keep very very nice so hopefully you guys will um, appreciate this as much as I will I know I'll be holding on to a lot of these for a very long time so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the little unboxing session um, but look forward to more and if you guys get into slip joints um, and you want a user <laughs> I couldn't strongly recommend these high enough and these things are beasts I have no doubt that these things would last you your entire lifetime no matter what kind of abuse you put them through I mean just super high quality very very nice may not have the half stops but I mean come on have you guys ever seen any kind of non locking I mean, maybe it's just super tight, but holy cow, come on. That's just insanity for a friggin' slip joint blade. I mean, I couldn't do that with any of my blades, not even my GECs could I sit there and hammer it without it just springing out and back. That's just insanity. Let's try both blades on this. this thing <laughs> things like a lock blade without the actual physical lock that's so cool there you go guys hope you guys enjoyed watching um, sorry I know they come late at night but this is my only time to do it and uh, just look forward to more so uh, questions comments anything um, feel free I know it'll take me a long time to get back to you guys uh, I still got this whole week this week is just brutal so this is one of the very toughest weeks of the entire year minus the last two weeks but it's still a pretty tough one um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and I'll try and get back to any comments that I happen to come across um, hopefully I'll be able to download all these tonight so thanks for watching guys and uh, just look forward to more I should have some more tomorrow um, probably the next day and then there may be a little bit of a recession uh, as towards um, when they'll be coming but hopefully I'll have more thanks for watching guys bye